Ngayong ang COVID-19 pandemic, sabayan pa ng tigdas outbreak sa buong mundo. The Philippines now experiencing the second wave of the COVID-19 outbreak. Balik na naman po sa mahigit 17,000 ang mga bagong kaso ng COVID-19 ngayon. Dineklara po ng Department of Health na may polio outbreak na po sa Pilipinas. Immunization is important. Immunization is one of the best ways you can protect yourself and your loved ones, especially your children and the future generations. If you are vaccinated, you can help wipe out the diseases that could spread now and into the future. By making sure you and your family are fully vaccinated by following the protocol set by the Philippine government, you are not only looking after your own family, but also protecting the vulnerable people in your community. The more people who are vaccinated, the fewer people will be infected and less widely a disease can spread. Immunization saves lives. As recently as the 1950s, thousands of children died every year from diseases such as tetanus, diphtheria, and whooping cough, also known as pertussis. Luckily, it is rare for anyone in the Philippines to die from these infectious diseases now, thanks to the major vaccination programs introduced in the 1970s, also known as Expanded Program on Immunization or EPI, which continue today. So, how do vaccinations work? All immunizations work in the same way. The vaccine uses your body's immune system to increase protection to an infection before you come in contact with it. In other words, it's like being infected with the disease without actually suffering and experiencing the actual symptoms. If you come in contact with an infection after you've been vaccinated, your body works to stop you from getting the disease, or you may get just a mild case. But unlike other proposed approaches to immunization, vaccinations have been rigorously tested to demonstrate their safety and effectiveness in protecting against infectious diseases. But what about people who cannot be immunized? Some people in our community cannot be vaccinated. This might be because they are too young or too sick. You can help protect these vulnerable people by keeping your family's vaccination up to date. When you get vaccinated, you are playing an important role in keeping yourself and your community safe. When enough people in the community are vaccinated, the spread of a disease slows down or stops completely. This is because the disease can't move easily from person to person. So as long as enough people are vaccinated, the disease will not spread. This is called herd immunity or community immunity. And it protects friends, family, and others, especially those who cannot be immunized. Many infectious diseases are rare or not around anymore thanks to vaccination, but there are still infectious disease outbreaks happening around the world today. COVID-19, a new disease that the world is still learning about. New research is happening all the time so we can understand more about the disease, including the long-term effects. Flu, 
chicken pox, woofy cough, measles. These diseases still have occasional outbreaks in the Philippines, mainly when introduced from overseas. They can make a strong comeback if people stop vaccinating. In January 2019, 62,225 measles cases were notified globally compared to the same period in 2018 when only 23,525 cases were notified. Ebola The latest outbreak of the Ebola virus disease started in the Democratic Republic of Congo in August 2018 and is soon going. HIV or AIDS The first cases of HIV were identified in a gay community in America in 1981. And by 1985, at least one case had been reported from each region of the world. In 2019, more than 30 million people around the world were living with HIV. There is still no cure, but current treatments allow patients to live long and healthy lives. No vaccines exist for Zika, Ebola, HIV, or AIDS, but research is underway. How new vaccines are developed? It can take a long time to develop a new vaccine. The development process is rigorous and the vaccine is constantly monitored even after its use to make sure it's effective and safe. A new vaccine goes through many phases of development. This includes research, discovery, preclinical and clinical testing, and regulatory approval. Once a vaccine is approved, it is then manufactured and shipped to where it's needed. In certain circumstances, increase in funding, resources, and concurrent clinical trials expedite this process, such in the case of the COVID-19 vaccine. After vaccines are introduced into immunization schedule, they are closely monitored through trials and surveillance to see if they are effective and safe. In our country, there are regional and national surveillance systems actively looking for any adverse events following immunization. This is necessary as sometimes unexpected side effects after vaccines are registered for use. Such vaccines such as the flu vaccination needs to be updated every year to respond to changing infection strains and conditions. Now, for these updates, the process is compressed to ensure the vaccine is available as needed. So, who needs, who needs to, to be, be vaccinated? vaccinated? The answer is simple. Almost everyone. Of course, there are some exceptions. Like people with serious comorbid medical conditions, like for instance, bedridden, immunocompromised individual, meaning people with weak immune system. It would be unfortunate if ever you decide against your immunization without a sound advice from your family physician. The former may advise you what vaccines are appropriate for you based on your prevailing health condition, age, lifestyle, and occupation, as well as to any risk of exposure protection. If we can encourage a vast majority or 95% of us to be vaccinated, the disease prevention will definitely be a success. As per DOH protocol, vaccination is particularly recommended based on age category and its importance on seasonal illnesses, with the main aim of prevention in pediatric and elderly age groups, not to forget persons under treatment for cancer. Vaccination may be of health benefits also for mothers-to-be and persons who plans to travel locally or internationally. So guys, be wise, be protected, be vaccinated. COVID-19 is a new disease, it's important to check the latest information on who can get vaccinated considering getting a COVID-19 vaccine. Remember, if you are not sure about what immunizations you need, talk to your GP. If you find you are not up to date with your vaccination, your GP will tell you about how to catch up or how to get booster shots. So, where can I get more information about immunization? Health Professionals Find out more about immunization by speaking with your health professional. The best place to start is with your GP. You can also ask your maternal and child health nurse and pediatrician.
Online information. There are lots of information online. If you want to know more about immunization, you can check out our country's Department of Health's website where there are information about how immunization works and the effectiveness and safeness of vaccine. When looking for immunization information, stick to the reliable information provided such as Department of Health, World Health Organization website, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website, and the Philippine Red Cross. Where to get help in case you experience initial signs and symptoms? Philippine Red Cross or local government unit or in the Barangay Health Center where you are residing. Remember, immunization saves lives. It protects you, your family, and your community. We are Group 3. Thank you for watching.